Hiya. I thought it was about time that we had a chat about authors, my favourite authors to be exact. I do talk a lot about the same people, but I thought I would give you like a list of my favourite authors. My absolute favourite authors in this world is J.R.R. Tolkien and J.K. Rowling. We all know that they are the best thing that's ever happened to this world. And I love them. And I love them because they are storytellers in such a good way. You empathise with the characters and it's just... Uh, I don't know why, but I really like both the ways of writing. Tolkien is a bit more slow, there's a lot of descriptions and there's a lot going on while not much going on. You can have like three, four pages with just the descriptions of the landscape. And I, I appreciate that, I like that, because it makes it all so more real to me. I can visualise it in my head and I'm there. While in um, Harry Potter, it's not that much like that. Mainly because, you know, it's Harry, isn't it? But the way she describes people is stunning. Because she, she does describe them from Harry's point of view-ish. And I, I like that point of view. I like... I like her, and I like the books, and I grew up with them. It helps that I grew up with them. Uh, one of the earliest favourite authors I had was Mark Twain, uh, because I got Tom Sawyer for Christmas. I've told you this story now so many times, but I got it for Christmas, and I loved it. He became this person for me that was up here. Ooh. He manages to portray people in a way that you actually want to be there with them. And it's so, oh, that's such a good quality in a writer, and I love it. And I, he's funny. And talking about funny, P.G. Woodhouse. I'm um, a massive P.G. Woodhouse dog. I don't talk enough about him, mainly because there's not many opportunities that I had to talk about him, really. It's just such good stories, and they're so funny. I don't read many books that are funny. I read a lot of depressive books, really. Oh, he's just warm and fluffy. He's fluff in a book. Then we have Arthur Conan Doyle. I don't know if I've shown him a bookshelf back home with my Arthur Conan Doyle collection, but I have at least five leather-bound co collections of Sherlock Holmes. And I also have a first edition of Sherlock Holmes behind my advent calendar. And I just... these stories are so simple and intriguing. I love Conan Doyle, and he was a bit weird. He believed in fairies and he was mates with Bram Stoker, and it's just, he had an interesting life. Then we have Sean Rees. She wrote stories inspired by her childhood in the Caribbean. She's sort of one of the others outside looking in. She grew up in an environment that was nothing like England, and she was the outsider. And the way she writes, it's so real and heartbreaking. If you have one book that you should read it is voyage in the dark read it because it is such a good book talking about real books that are slightly sad virginia wolf when i first read virginia wolf i was a bit like mm, is this it it's a bit boring isn't it nothing much is happening but then i learned to appreciate the fact that not much is happening and sort of read the words instead of the actions there's a part in mrs dalloway where the wolves are the narrators amazing and then we have the more contemporary Neil Gaiman. We all love, love Neil Gaiman. I read the Graveyard book for the Halloween challenge. And it's such a good book. Because it's really weird. You know when you're halfway through a book and you think, how how can this continue? Isn't it done? Isn't this story done now? And it's like, no, no, no. The best is yet to come. That's Neil Gaiman. Anyway, what are your favourite authors? Do you like mine? Shall we bond our mutual love towards an author? Tell me down below and I'll see you soon.